Just recently, um, we took some ladies up to Cookdown, Hothel and Woodjilk, Woodjilk communities because some of our grannies and aunties and uncles and uncles were sent away from those areas. And we called that project um, just reconnecting back to country and, you know, to, for us to just looking at a, a whole person physically, mentally, spiritually, environmentally. And I think that's all, once we look at that and address each of those, then we're on the road to healing. And I think that was really good for those ladies to do that trip because now they feel a whole lot better and they feel as though that they've achieved something in their life. There was a missing link there, but now that, you know, it's just that reconnecting back to country, and they were doing it on behalf of their loved ones that have gone well before us. My particular grandmother, my mother's mother, who was taken away from the Cookdown area, she was only 14, 13, 14 years of age, and she had fair skin, but her mother was full-blooded Aboriginal woman. And she was out wandering around with her tribe at that point in time, and they're all down by what we know as Makaiba River, and Granny, you couldn't keep Granny out of the water, but our old people used to, because she had fair skin, our old people covered her skin up with dark charcoal, but it got very itchy for her and she kept diving into the water to get rid of that charcoal. And unbeknown to her and the rest of the family, the, the, the authorities were sitting up on the bank of the river watching her, going in and, out of, in and out of the water. And then when they eventually got hold of her and put her on the back of a horse and just took her and, and uh, Granny's mother just, and the rest of the family just cried and cried and cried because Grandma just didn't, uh, she knew right there and then that she wouldn't see her daughter again because she was taken away by the authorities, you know, and that was the policies in those days. She never, never went back to her traditional country again. You know, the pain, the heartaches were still there on the inside, but Granny, she was a very strong person, but she knew that the law was if she'd go back to her traditional country, she, it wouldn't be the same because there was punishment that went with it. So Granny never went back. She stayed at Yarraba, got married, grew a family up, um, ended up being buried here.